Let's talk about Yuri. Yuri jumped on stream and is trying to defend himself against all the shit that's been happening lately, right? Um, let's watch some Yuri videos. There's this one particular Yuri video I want to watch. There's actually a kick video. Let's watch actually his kick stream. Um, Yuri is actually on his kick stream trying to explain a little bit of the situation that happened with Riley. So let's watch a little bit of that and then we can continue on with some Brendan Schaub stuff, of course. Let's check out Yuri's kick stream via Harmonious Man Yuri Kick account. Styling and profiling dropped a bag of $2. First off, let's speak on why Brick was even talking. Bro cannot form a sentence off them perks. <laughs> I know, guys. Uh, though the people are talking about the break baby shit, chat. You think there's not there's no dudes out there that would desperately want to, you know, be with Riley? It ain't gonna happen, though. Unfortunately, they could try their hardest. It ain't gonna happen. There's a lot of people like that. They're like, oh, bro, I would love to be with your girl. I'm sure you would. Ain't gonna happen, though. In your fucking wife. What a weird thing to say. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of guys that want to fuck my girl. Like, why are you even thinking about that? <laughs> what a strange dude what a really strange dude he's thinking about all the guys out there that want to fuck his girl it's like i'm what well, i'm fucking her it's like okay congrats on it <laughs> you want a sticker <laughs> you want a pat on the back i'm having sex it's like good for you <laughs> wildest dreams bro pigs will fly before a flock blood do qeb but just take hold on i'll replay i'll replay in a second my bad video is hold on hold on hold on hold on Great stream. <laughs> Great stream. Never Here you go, being controlling, bro. <laughs> Ask Riley, dude. Show a picture of Brick Baby to Riley, and she's gonna go. Poof. She's gonna be like, bro, what? Let's be real though. Yuri and Riley, Yuri and Brick Baby aren't that far apart when it comes to looks. Let's be real. I don't know what this guy's talking about. He's acting as if he's a stud or anything. Come on. Let's relax. AK dropped a bag of $4.99. Gang, did you ask if we, I got your back? Brotherly love, K-Flock blood do QEB, but just type K-Flock and it will pop up. Make sure video the video is important to show how harmonious gang is riding for you. Can I put you in the middle gang? Pause. Pause. Thank you so much, AK. I appreciate you. I'll play that song in a second. And then also, guys, um... You know, I talked about the whole situation with the video that has been going fucking viral viral and shit, unfortunately, mm -hmm. where I was not a great boyfriend, right? And obviously people are going to be... You're never a great boyfriend, Yuri. You are never a great boyfriend. You're just about a good human being. You sit online and basically panhandle for weed money. He's, he, he does the same trick every single time. Every time I tune in or I check out the No Jumper subreddit, he's doing a fucking, what's that thing called? He's doing a marathon thing. Oh, tip every minute and add a minute, add another hour onto my thing, 24-7, hence 24-7 fucking live stream. Every tip is another fucking minute, another hour. Like, when will this fucking shit end? When will it end? If he's not doing that, he's harassing fucking Bape Store employees. And nearly getting fucking swept by them. Like, come on, bro. You gotta grow up a bit. This kid's 30, allegedly. Come on. Be like bringing up other stuff with like, oh, uh, Yuri's done other stuff on camera before. Guys, I'm. You've done a lot of stuff. We've, co we've covered it on my little tiny stream. You've done many, 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 many things. This guy has a catalog of offenses when it comes to being a terrible boyfriend. He might be legitimately the world champion of fucking terrible boyfriends he might actually win an award for it at the end of the year of how terrible of a boyfriend he is and he's quite lucky that he has a girlfriend who looks or who appears to be somewhat insecure somewhat codependent maybe they're just perfect for each other that's my theory i don't think the insecure and codependent thing is true i just think they're perfect for each other in a weird way um so that's why you can kind of get away we can kind of get away with but the way he treats her especially on stream which is in front of strangers in front of randoms because i don't know about you but the way i was brought up um you know i had parents who would sometimes go into the other room if they were going to argue or they would make sure to always present a united front in front of strangers but this guy goes out of his way to be a dickhead to be petty to wind up his girlfriend on stream and just embarrass her for no reason and you know there are occasions when she obviously presses his buttons like most girlfriends do but yuri should be the man and kind of lead and kind of just stop all the beef and chill but he doesn't he always bites he always tries to have the last word he always thinks he's right you, you know he could never fucking de-escalate things 
it's just a fucking horrible situation to be in. But he definitely will win the awards for the worst boyfriend of the year, if not the decade. Not a perfect human being. And guess what? No, none of you guys are. No, we we didn't say we are. This is isn't a, this is like an interesting gaslight thing, isn't it? None of us said we're perfect. We just said you're a shitty boyfriend. <laughs> That's all. No one said they're perfect. I don't think anyone out there is saying that they would do it much better. Like no one's no no sensible person is saying that they'd you know they'd be a um a far better boyfriend than you. They're just saying from the evidence that they've seen online, you're a shitty boyfriend and you appear to be a shitty person at times. That's an okay observation. It doesn't mean it's the whole of you, but it does cover some of you that we've seen. One thing for sure is the only people criticizing me to a point where they're just like, you know, hate me type shit are the people that don't really know me. The people Isn't that the whole point of the internet though? Don't people judge you based on the small bits of information that they see online about you? That's the whole nature of like online commentary. They're never going to know you personally because they don't personally know you. So how else would they form an opinion? Just based on the imp information or the content they have available. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about here. People who actually watch my streams, who uh -huh. watch a lot of my streams and all that stuff. Um, so basically your fans. Um, who aren't like some weirdo trolls. So no trolls, no haters, only your fans. They all know my, you know, my personal personality. Yo, big up NJ Ranger. Pissed at him for sullying tests with that incel bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Made that little babe feel bad for sitting next to a gay dude years ago. Also, I already watch and love Adam Friedland. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. NJ Ranger. I did not clock that. Yeah, he does look a bit like Adam Friedland, isn't it? I didn't realize that. That's a fucking real good little reference there. He actually does look like Adam, doesn't he? Shit. Well, to be fair... There's something about that look that girls like, isn't it? Maybe it's the Jewish thing because Dasha went out with Adam Friedland, isn't it? Dasha from Red Scare. So maybe there's something about that kind of look that girls just go dizzy for. So maybe, you know, maybe Yuri, despite looking like a bit of a freak, maybe he is Mr. Bitches. He's got that kind of like, you know, he's got that kind of, you know, he's got that Tel Aviv look about him, isn't it? <laughs> they know Riley, they know our relationship together and they all, your relationship is you shout, at her, you shout at her, you wind her up, you get in her head, and then, you know, rinse and repeat. You know, have been messaging the both of us, telling us, like, you know, um... Who are these people? It's easy to take, like, one thing from a person's relationship. It's not one thing, though. There's a catalogue of offences. I could even play them for you if I was being really petty, but I'm not going to be that guy. But there's a catalogue of offences this guy has committed over the years that we've kind of watched him come on man and then like show some crazy you know like and then get this crazy narrative out of it but then also like i said i i don't owe you guys an apology and i don't know most critical Ooh, an apology and i don't know anyone apology the only bad. person i owe he woke he woke up today and he ate his fucking oats in it right i don't owe you guys an apology i don't owe most critical an apology i ain't sorry for shit i'm doubling down <laughs> Tel Aviv boys, we up. <laughs> Owed an apology from the beginning was Riley, and we already talked about this, and we already had like got through it, and I already accepted my fault, and that was the only person um, I uh, owed an apology to, or you know, even had like uh, to conversate to. So all the people attacking me in my Instagram, all the people attacking me in the chat, or whatever it is, I don't care what you guys say. You know what I mean, like. Yeah, you do. You you do care what we say. Trust me, you care. Because he was having a nervous breakdown the other day. He was shaking. He was smoking weed all the time to calm his nerves. He was saying he was having anxiety. He couldn't breathe properly. He was going through it the other day. So don't act like you don't care. Don't act like you're a big boy now. Come on, man. Like, you guys aren't the people I faulted. You guys aren't people. the people I wronged. You guys don't. Aren't you embarrassed, though? Aren't you like a tiny bit embarrassed by how you appeared online? Because it's one thing if you get mad at your girlfriend for something legitimate that she done, bad or wrong. You got mad at her for recording a video 10 years ago. <laughs> what a fucking dickhead. No, the either of us, you know what I mean? So I don't know you guys an apology. It's like if it's if I see fucking, you know, uh, specific people in the chat then i'd be like oh, okay like i need to talk to this person but no it's like it's literally you're a big up far thick nugan look at this homo he's lost 
doesn't know who he is. He's completely lost. He is lost beyond lost. He is away somewhere else. He's gone. Um, Riley's the Buffett. only person that matters in this whole situation. Oh, does she now? Maybe treat her like she matters, brother. Maybe don't, you know, maybe don't treat her like shit on stream and off stream. Maybe that could help. Actions speak louder than words. And we've already, you know, kind of gone through it and settled it. And I know that's like, I'm kind of speaking for Wiley right now because she personally would just prefer not to be on camera because... Or duh, because she got made to look like an absolute idiot by you. This is a lot to deal with. Um, and, you know, I respect her. You embarrassed her. You mocked her. You belittled her. Almost bullied her. You're pretty shitty you thing that you did. So I'm not surprised she doesn't want to come on stream. Her uh, decision, I feel like you guys should too. People saying like, oh, bring it on camera. She just doesn't want to deal with any of this bullshit. I can't wait to the day we can go back to the chill streams again. But um, yeah, I don't know anyone in apology other than Riley. And like I said, we've got through it. And I admit I've, I've you know. Um, no, I've say, say the word. You admit that you're a shitty person and a shitty boyfriend. You've done no work internally to correct that. You're just going to hope and pray it gets better over time. But there's no guarantees that it will because you've got a catalogue of offences that have been documented online of your terrible behaviour to your girlfriend and you're only getting away with it because she's who she is and because you're who you are. But in any other circumstances, with any other person, they would have ran a mile because you're a walking red flag. Say it. Say it. I've been like a, a bad boyfriend and a bad person many, many Ooh, bad boy. times. And we both learned through it. You know what I mean? Like there's <laughs> learning how to not to be a bad boyfriend. Step number one, don't be a bad boyfriend. Like things that everyone does. And also guys, like here's the other I've never done that. I've never screamed at a girl that I was with for, for not telling me that she recorded a video with a gay guy and one of her other best friends 10 years ago. I've never screamed at woman for doing that ever in my entire life. I don't give a fuck. The thing is, like I said, no one's a perfect human being. And I know that's like, just like a... Who said they were perfect? Don't guess like us. It, anyone could say that whenever they like get caught doing something stupid or whatever yeah, it is, it's right? Like, like, no one's a perfect, hu perfect human being. Uh -huh. I would like, well, like everyone's, you know what I mean, like? lowest moments to be captured on camera. No, so you want everyone's lowest moments to be captured so that you can, what, excuse yourself from your shitty behavior? This guy is a... Real nincompoop, isn't it? And then get this many views and then see what people say about you. You know what I mean? Is he showing off now? I bet you couldn't get any much views as I could if you made a mistake. Is he actually showing off? So it's like, just because this has gone viral and so many people are talking about it and posting about it. The Can you put viral in quotation marks when it actually has gone viral? Isn't that the opposite? Big up Fyodor. Next time you are running late for a stream, Make sure to pull a Yuri and say, I don't owe none of you shit. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to let my nuts hang, as 6 9 would say. I'm going to let my nuts hang, as he's going to say, I don't owe none of you niggas shit. All right? Y'all niggas don't know me. Y'all know where I'm from. Y'all know what I've been on. Y'all know where I've been, where I'm going, who I'm about to be. Huh? Fuck y'all. Who y'all think you are? Yeah, do my best American accent. Fuck y'all. Doesn't make me unique. Big up Fyodor. Unique in the fact that this only happens to me. We've all made... No, it does only happen to you. I've never seen another person apart from you rage and crash out on your girlfriend the way that you do. Only you do that, Yuri. I swear, only you do that. You know, uh, terrible decisions or even like, you know, acted childish or acted petty or acted stupid or acted kind of like, you know non-intelligent at some point in our lives maybe numerous big up uche <laughs> right back at you babes right back at you we're all we're all in this fucking toxic stew this toxic fucking stew right this codependency toxic stew <laughs> this times and don't act like what i'm gonna do without you ah! you've just hit some point where you're like i'm fully fucking woke now you know i'm i'm a monk i'm never making mistakes what the fuck is this guy talking about? What is the fuck is this dweeb, this fucking neek talking about? I'm fully woke. I'm not going to make it like, wait, like, how can you, bruh, just don't be a shitty boyfriend. It's not that hard. For the rest of my life, I'm drinking tea and, you know, meditating for the rest of my life. No, bro. We all make mistakes in life, especially the more shit that you do in life. It's like the more shit that you, the more shit that you do. So he, he's trying to make it seem like he only rags at his girlfriend on stream because what he's hustling and he's trying to chase his dreams and 
Fuck off. Fuck off. You interact with and do, and the more variables there are, the more of a chance there is for you to be like, you know, make a wrong decision, decision, make a right decision. All right. Um, sure. But regardless, like I said, to all the people who are saying abuser, whatever, blah, blah, guys, I don't know. I mean blah blah you are abusive abusive blah blah there's no blah blah you are abusive oh any of you guys an apology and i really don't care what you guys say you're an abusive boyfriend he's this he's just he... <laughs> nah he's not i'm not gonna go that far what i care with you know um the opinions i care of is like the people in our close circle and the people um and riley riley number one and the people in our, in our close circle if you cared about riley you wouldn't embarrass her the way you do online so much and it's like, if if they're not telling me that, or if Riley's not telling me that, then like, and if that was the case, guys, it's like Riley's like, I'm not fucking R. Kelly over here, bro. Riley's not chained downstairs. Riley can, I don't even have a car, bro. Riley has the car. She can fucking just dip out of here whenever she wants, bro. You think I'm like holding her back? It's like, bro, no, it's like, there's literally nothing holding Riley back from leaving me whenever she wants. You know what I mean? It's like, uh... Yeah, but you know she won't. <laughs> that's what that's what we're talking about. If 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 we didn't get past real, you know, like conflicts and real arguments and all that stuff, uh, we wouldn't be here right now. It would just, you know, it would literally we would be separated. That's it. But anyways, you were holding her hostage. Anyway, that's right. That's Yuri talking all that shit, trying to defend himself. I guess it is what it is. In essence, if he stopped being a shitty boyfriend, everything would be okay. He's incapable of doing that because he's incapable of acknowledging that he is a shitty boyfriend. The first step to changing your behavior is acknowledging your behavior and, you know, then doing the work necessary to kind of make sure it doesn't happen again. Is he going to do that? Possibly not because he's the way he is. It kind of is the way it fucking is.